Yep. Hello. <laughs> this is a Coast Tardis building moment right now. Sitting <laughs> on the on the porch swing at Timotina's Darkwing Manor. Hey Ruby. Ruby, are you there? She's probably not even paying attention. No, we should tag her. Yeah, get a hold of Ruby. We need you. Ruby, you wanna come tomorrow? Please say yes. Because we're painting and we're building a door for the TARDIS tomorrow. Please say yes. Because I want to see you. We love Ruby. I need you in my life. <laughs> Everybody needs a little Ruby. There's only <laughs> you in my life. Everybody needs a magenta haired girl. <laughs> it's true. Everybody needs a girl with purple hair. You know, Lauren was originally going to have like yes. colored hair, but then I started auditioning and I, I realized that I was going to like be doing auditions for like period pieces. Yeah. And I was like, that may not be a good idea. So. Yeah, well, you you could do some stuff where it's um, you could either get like an extension Beautiful. where it's like it's just a color, like a braid or something, or mm -hmm. wash in, wash out. Yeah, I'm still thinking maybe she should have something. I don't a know. Blue. Just gotta or get red. a little blue piece. Or yeah, something. just like something hanging down here. Mm hmm And then maybe when she comes back at like the very end, she becomes the doctor. Like a doctor? No, no, not like that. Uh oh, that's. Not oh, like she she no wants to be a paramedic. Spoilers. Laura yeah, wants to yeah, be a paramedic. Yeah, yeah. When she goes back and she gets goes into school, mm -hmm. it's gone. She's like making herself more professional. Yeah, it's a good idea. She cares more about. I don't know. What do you think, audience? Anybody have any ideas? What do you think? What should color should Lauren's hair? Should Lauren, the character played by Brittany Reha, mm -hmm. I always uh, have a little <laughs> blue streak in her hair at the beginning of her. Entrance Journey. into the world, and then after she leaves the doctor, when she starts a more professional worldview, she loses it. Is that a good idea? Come or oh. or does she add the blue stripe in as a reminder that she was once traveling with the doctor in a blue TARDIS? What do you think, audience? Leave a comment. Um, yeah. I was also thinking that Lauren might need a, a different shirt because I actually bought a new shirt. Oh yeah? Yesterday, and it's blue, and it's got stars on it, actually. So, she should uh, wear that, like, at the end, too, because it's her, uh... Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Of, well, she, but she doesn't remember. Maybe she wears it at homesick. The homies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wear it why, homesick. Why is it, like, every time... Every companion has... loses their memory. <laughs> <laughs> and has these, like, dreams or some kind of, like... Doctor Who post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> where they, like, forget, and they have amnesia, but they remember in their dreams. Jane, and then Lauren. And that happened to Rose, too. R Rose? Well, kind of, she didn't forget, but she, um, the doctor talked to her in a dream to get her to, uh, Dalek and Stranden to oh, that wolf oh, bay. Yeah, 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 he talked to her in a dream. She didn't forget, but she was in another, she thought she'd never see him, ago, see him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... That was so freaking sad. Donna? How many of you think Doomsday is the saddest Doctor Who episode? Yep. Good grief. No... No, no, uh, nothing has beat it yet. Not yet. Not with Clara. Maybe, Clara's maybe death we scene. will. Clara's, yeah, yeah. Maybe we will. Maybe something. Oh will yeah, come Clara's home. death Clara's scene. Clara's death scene was pretty traumatic to me. Traumatic. Mhm. Mm Help me be brave. Help me be brave. Help yeah. Me be brave. I that was think, just. I, I didn't think that Amy, Amy and Rory one was very. They they were marketing it as like the hardest, saddest thing. I, I felt that I. I've grown to like Karen Gillum now, but uh, when she was on Doctor Who, she played things a little bit too over dramatically, melodramatically. Interesting. And so I couldn't get into it as yeah. like, real. But Clara and Rose, it was like a natural moment for them. Billy Piper even said, I felt like I was saying goodbye to David Tennant. Yeah, the behind the scenes videos were really sad for that day. There's a shot of just David just watching her on a monitor. This is really sad. He's got this really sad face. Anyway, I mean, he's not crying or anything, but yeah, but he's just like watching her do this scene, this goodbye scene, and he's just like, he's he's like, he's got a thousand yard stare just watching her. It's like, oh my gosh, it's depressing. I'll have another drink. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's hard lemonade. It's the lemonade of, it's the official drink of Cafe Girl Tardis Build Crew. Mark, Mike's hard lemonade. <laughs> Plugging my not a sponsor. No, no, not a sponsor. It's just what we drink when we're after. It's light too, light. It's light. It's hard lemonade, light. It's what we drink <laughs> after. Calories. Like okay, after every like 
behind the scenes shoot or something when people are done. Let's go have a mic hard, hard lemonade. Oh, my legs are too short. When I graduated from college, the couple days before I actually walked, I, um, I don't even know if it was a Mike's Hard Lemonade. It might have been something like that. I went, I finished my last paper and I emailed it in and it was two, it was like late at night. It was two days before graduation. It was a Thursday. And I went to 7-Eleven and I wanted to do something to celebrate. And I got, I think it was either Mike's Hard Lemonade or another kind of spritzy beer, alcoholic mm -hmm. beverage. Mm -hmm. I don't really, you know, wasn't too much of a drinker. But I got it, went back to my apartment, sat outside, tried to call my friend. She was asleep, had no one to talk to. And this guy walked by, some college student guy. He happened to be there and he came and sat and talked to me. And we had this whole long spiritual discussion. And that was how I celebrated my post-graduation. Pre, nice. pre, my pre-walking across the stage graduation experience. Did you trip? <laughs> oh, it's not like trip like in a different way. No, but no, walking across the stage was kind of an interesting experience because I get to the entrance, or I get to the entrance of the stage, and I'm waiting for them to call my name, and I'm standing there, and I look across the stage, and it was like a flash of like my first year as a freshman in college, all the way everything until that moment. Oh wow! And then they, and then they called my name. And the flash of your state. college life before oh, yeah, your eyes. Yeah, like all of it. From like freshman year at San Francisco State with Malena and Quevu and all of those guys and all the things we did, all the funny jokes that were made there, making fun of the high school students. <laughs> and Santa Rosa Junior College with Michael Lane and LJ and my drama teacher Joe DeBugliamo. And then to <laughs> Italy where I studied abroad and then the three years at SOU. And everything that happened there with Jamie and Matt and Mark. <laughs> Mark. Oh, Mark. And then, and then I walked across the stage. Wow. It was a very quite uh, end profound, of a journey. Yeah, profound moment. I am very much looking forward to that moment for myself. Because I've been in school to get a four-year degree for about six years. But I'm very glad that I took that longer route because I'm not in debt right now. So, nice. Oh, yeah. That's a good thing. thing. Yeah. I didn't get my college debt. This is what we're talking about now. <laughs> I didn't get my college debt until I went to way and I went to graduate school for a year and it's nowhere near what some of the other students that's good. have got, even at my age and paying it off. It's like it's like maybe a quarter of what some people owe. So I'm pretty fortunate. Yeah, very I good. I had very loving parents, thank you thank you very much. <laughs> practice our English accent. Now. Perfect. Same. Actually, anyway. I don't have to. <laughs> oh, right, right. You don't have I'm, to. Do I have to practice my attitude. Yes. Lauren's got a bit of an attitude when she attitude. starts I'll out. Be, I'll be, my name is Jane Smith, my character. I'm Jane Smith. I work in a shop. Um, I work in a shop with, with this lovely little, little lovely girl named Teresa. She's quite lovely. We've had some, some mad experiences. We, we go after the... After work... After work every night, we go down to the pub and have a cute, have a couple drinks. And yeah. she had this um, boyfriend for a while. He's quite mad himself. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. His, his name is Mark. Yeah, they, they had a lot of a issues. Of they used to fight all the time, all <laughs> the time. Trust me. And she was really, I think she was a little jealous of, of Justin and I actually. Oh, Justin is my boyfriend. <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> I mean, He's you know, sweet. he always wanted to take things to the next level, you know, take them and make them a little, a little more serious. And I was, I was always looking for Something. a man of my dreams. Oh, a man of my dreams. It's so funny though. Sometimes when you, when you look out outward, it's always right there in front of your face what you're looking for. Yeah, I felt that a lot too. I just, Lauren. Uh, I'm Lauren. Hi. My character's Lauren. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> I... I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm kind of drifting right now. I've got a lot on my mind. I really won't get into it, but I... I don't know. I just... I feel like I've kind of had a... had a lot of stuff going on in my past, and I just kind of want to move on. But I don't know how. 
So, if you have any ideas, I mean, so someone out there know. that can help us. There's yeah. got to be someone out there that can help us find the answers. I Does mean, anyone know? Does anyone know? Does anyone know who could say who can help us? Somebody, I hope. I mean, or is it? Or is the answer inside of all of us? Ah. Can we? Do we have to figure it out for ourselves? Well. Find out next time on <laughs> Behind the Scenes of Heart <laughs> Behind the Scenes of, of Homesick and Heartsick. Find out next time. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Peace. As the kids as Jane says as peace. the kids say. As the as Jane says, peace. As the Hoovians say, I'll Z. And what Lominos. Lominos.